Yes. Thank you very much, um, Alinko, for that question. I, I think the first thing I want to say is that um, we, I think the main missing link is the fact that we forget, we forget that things have changed completely. Mm. I'm 52 years old and um, I was raised at a time in Nigeria where TV, uh, since the TV started at about 4 p.m., where we did not have access to the internet, where um, we had what was called drug abuse, where pornography was only hardcore pornography and it was not available everywhere. You needed to travel or look for it if you wanted to watch it. Where the kind of music that were released were sanctimonious, where um, a lot of sanity appeared to be uh, to hold sway in our daily lives. But things have changed completely between when uh, I was raised and today. Today we talk about Gen Z. Gen Z is from the year 2012 to the year, uh, from the year 1997 to the year 2012. Then you have Generation A, Generation Alpha, from the year 2012 to the year 2025. Now, all of these children are digitalized children. They are digital native, and those who are trying to raise them are digital aliens. That is, these children are socialized digitally. With the advent of COVID, COVID accelerated digital, digitalization, globalization. Now, the world became, began to exist on our palm all of a sudden. It has been existing on our palm before now, but it began to exist more regularly because we were able to do a lot when we were supposed to be locked down online and people became billionaires. Uh, Zoom, for example, the Zoom platform, you know, end exponentially as a result of COVID. Uh, billionaires were coming out of the Silicon Valley as a result of COVID uh, lockdown and the interruptions that it brought. So the world has changed completely. Unfortunately, today's parents still want to uh, relate to children as if they were relating to children when they were growing up, the way they were related with growing up. And so that has created a lot of issues. You know, I love what Dr. Lockhart was saying. A child reluctance is not disobedience. A child can show reluctance. A child can show disapproval. But in our culture, by virtue of the fact, fact of the way we were raised, we considered that what a child was supposed to do is obey uh, 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 obey, uh, command and obey. Yes. And things have changed. So today's family seem to be, seems to be operating at the level of, um, um, uh, we, we are Alice in Wonderland. We forget that the only thing that is existing, you know, in the way we were raised, is the belief system we carried today about it. Things have changed completely. Even the definition of things, if you want to go into what is a family now, this, this program will change focus. If you want to even define who is a woman. You know, Jackson Kutenji was asked, who is a woman? She couldn't answer the question. She said, I, I can't answer that question. So as simple as it is to some people that this is who a woman is, some people is not as simple anymore. Who a child is, who a human being is has changed. Because people are now saying there's something called transable. People are not saying there's something called transpecies. So things have changed completely. So if you want to raise children at this time, I think the missing link is that those who are trying to lead the family today forget that they need to humble themselves and learn from the people they are trying to lead. They want to force things on them. I'll be writing a series of articles which I titled, Excuse Me, Please. I want to raise poet children. Part one, part two, part three is on LinkedIn. Because I am trying to interrogate that thing that you call being spoiled. When a child is free, expressive, without being rude. Because we forget that children have three fundamental characteristics. Number one, a child is a person of worth. Now, to, recently, Elon Musk overtook uh, uh, Jeff Bezos as richest man in the world. All of his money, close to 300 billion, cannot buy a child in the legal market. So children are people of worth. They are not going to become people of worth when they become an adult. Now, number two, children are, have sense of judgment. They can think. 
the process they think they express their views number three children have the power of judgment the sense of judgment they have the power of choice those are the three fundamental things we need to train in children but unfortunately those are the points of conflict today and as long as those things continue to be a point of conflict there's going to be crisis that is why today young people are falling out with their parents they are they are not accepting the belief system of their parents they are rejecting it because the parents and the family leaders are trying to foist what they believe down the church of children and let me quickly conclude this way no human being no human being receives anything by force not one because we have been of reasoning and i'll round up with the quote of josh mcdowell joshua mcdowell is is um is a trainer work with young people he himself had experience with being sexually molested when he was growing up before uh, he, he got some help he said truth without relationships lead to rejection rules without relationship lead to rebellion discipline without relationship leads to bitterness anger and resentment but i'll tell you i'll tell you this you can pray all you want but if you don't build a relationship with them that is children forget it they walk away mm. so the most important thing is we have to humble ourselves mm. as people that are supposed to be instructing children at the level of the family at the level of the school understand that this is the this time we have never lived in this time before mm. so we do not know what it really means to be socialized digitally those who are trying to raise children now have never lived in this time before we never lived in this time mm. at the time we were being formed we were analogs yes now so analog is slow that is why we abandon it for digital mm. digital is faster the children of today are faster in their thinking faster in their learning faster in the way they do things we are analog but we bring analog mind to rule the life of those who are dealing with digital who are smart minds so how, how is it going to work what the analog needs to do is to descend from the mount olympus of feeling that i know it all just because i'm older than you mm. i know it all mm. to come down and learn from young people today even in the family the language has changed they say when young people can be speaking in the family and you are going to be there you are not to hear anything they are saying because everything has been codified in their world because every word has a language every culture has a language pop culture has its own language so your children can sit before you and sell you it is when people come in to carry you and a way that you are going to know what is going on you will know that you are the one being negotiated about <laughs> the of this conversation they have been having thank you wow that was that was very powerful uh i don't know yeah well you're getting a a lot of uh, what's uh, applause for that. So that's really